When you ask someone to name the most common butterfly, yeah, chances are the monarch comes to mind, but this familiar flyer may be in some trouble. Fox 11's Eric Peterson reports this evening on a trend that some say is causing concern with the population. At a three-acre prairie west of Nina, Marvin Barbagosen raised butterflies. You are so lucky. On this morning, a swallowtail butterfly emerged from its winter shell. When that happens, it's, it's a wonderful feeling. Whoa. It's on. But oh. Gosen says a butterfly close to her heart may be in trouble. Right now, they're in decline, and I don't see as many monarchs in my prairie, which worries me greatly. And scientists are worried, too. A report from the World Wildlife Fund, Mexico's Environment Department, and the Natural Protected Areas Commission indicates the number of monarchs migrating from the U.S. and Canada to Mexico has dropped to its lowest level in more than 20 years. We used to have hundreds of millions of monarchs, and now we're down to maybe 20 to 50 million in just, in just a few short years. Jessica Miller is a naturalist at the Mosquito Hill Nature Center near New London. She says monarchs live only a matter of weeks, so those returning to Wisconsin need to reproduce in places like Texas. Miller says monarchs face changing weather conditions, pesticides, and fewer milkweed plants. Milkweed is the lifeblood of monarchs. That's what they lay their eggs on. And so if there's no milkweed, there's no monarchs. So what can be done? Donna Van Buchen says people need to plant milkweed for the monarch caterpillars. But also then to plant nectar plants so that once the butter once the caterpillars become butterflies, they actually have something that they can nectar from as well. Barb Gosen hopes to see the monarchs later this month. They're coming up later and later. They're coming up in fewer numbers. And someday in my lifetime, I may live to see no monarch butterflies in my prairie. And that would be a shame. In the town of Clayton, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Naturalists also say that the monarchs will continue to migrate in other places throughout the world. But they say if the trend continues, the only way to remember the monarchs in the Midwest may be through pictures.